Karen, Karen is performing beautifully today. Can we? Right, okay. <laughs> hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So when doing a Gold Hoarder Vault in live streams or with friends, I'm always asked by someone, how did you do that so fast? They're in fact one of the easiest ways to make gold in the game, so let's uh, run you through it. First of all, in order to start doing Gold Hoarder Vaults, you need to be at least level 25 in the Gold Hoarder Faction's reputation, which will not take you very much time at all. You can pretty much reach this level by searching for random loot and islands like a peasant. Once you reach level 25, head over to your local Golden Facial representative and buy a Gold Hoarder Vault quest from them. Oh, and then touch this table so you get yourself a Gold Hoarder Emissary Flag. You'll get more gold and reputation for doing this. And now begins the adventure. Use your Wayfinder compass to locate the island you're supposed to travel to. It's a fairly peaceful quest and serves as entertainment in your downtown. Pro tip. Don't sail through skeleton fleet events. Once you've patched your ship up and made sure nobody witnessed that utter fail, head toward the island the compass points you to. You'll know when you're getting close to the area you need to be, as the compass will twitch like it has an anxiety complex. When you hit the direct spot, the compass will rotate fast. When this happens, start digging up on that spot. You will unearth a map fragment. Now, some of the time you will get lucky, and the fragment you unearth gives you the X on the island you need to go to. Oh, not this time. Murder something in process. Keep following the anxiety compass to different islands to find different map fragments so you can locate your girl oh, you son of a hang on <laughs> he had it coming Sometimes you will get lucky, and some of the larger islands will give you two clues to dig up, so don't head directly back to your ship after digging one up. Check your compass first to see if another is close, and with two clues on the island, you increase the chances of you being able to find that X on the final island. Ah, f**k's sake! Murder a pig. Most of the time, you get the island location after two to three digs. But if you're me, the gods of RNG will decide today is not the day. Wait, who are you? I'm the purple pig of judgment. Okay, does this have something to do with me murdering that- You suck! After spending six and a half hours sailing against the wind across the entire map, you'll eventually be on your fifth dig spot. With each map only having six clues to find, the likelihood of you having to find all six in order to find a location is very slim indeed. You'll often find after two or three dig spots, you'll have what you need. Oh, for f By the time it reaches 2023, the game will eventually decide it's time for you to find the fragment that reveals the X. Head over to the island your clues reveal to dig up the final clue that will lead you to your bo- Oh, Haha, <laughs> you suck! When you dig up the chest on the island and open it, you'll find a huge cache of gold, which actually only amounts to pocket change, but we'll ignore that. The chest also contains your vault key, and the clue is in the pudding, as the vault key will give you the island location for your vault. Finally, head over to the island and keep a keen eye out for wall paintings that match your key. In this case, my key is a scarab, so keep a lookout for scarab wall paintings on the island. When you find the paintings, a plinth will be close where you place the key. Plinth. I love that word. Plinth. Say it with me. Plinth. Plinth. Not you. Place the key and the wall will open up. Head down into the vault area and stand awkwardly in front of this door until it decides to open. Now here is the part most people get stuck on. This puzzle is in fact very easy indeed. The furthest right pillar will always be a combination of all the clues on each pillar. The centre picture on this pillar will always be the clue for the pillar on the far left. Now using this cipher, you can pretty much input all of these combinations until you find the correct combination. But to speed things up, let's just locate one of these tablets. Insert the tablet into the table and it will give you a vital clue, the symbol for the leftmost pillar. This reduces the clues to two possible combinations. In this case, a downward facing lock and key and a horizontal chain. Now you don't have to worry about which pillars will have which symbol. There is no duplicates between the pillars. The pillars will only ever have the needed symbol for each clue. Input the symbols for each pillar and hit the button. And with a 50-50 chance of getting it right, you'll usually come out victorious. But don't worry about how many times you hit the button either. You won't get punished for getting it wrong. Grab your loot and begin stocking up your ship with your precious haul. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do the Gold Hoarder Vaults. Happy sailing, and I'll see you all in the net. You suck. I'll piss off.